Hello, Internet friends, and welcome back to the episode of Bay's Adventure in Heroes of the Storm, Heroes League. As you can tell by my voice, I am still ill, kind of ill. I guess I'm going to hover Zagara, just because I am still a little ucky ug. So we're going to sort of deal with it for today. <clears throat> oh. <coughs> oh. 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 And, uh, wow, no support picks. Yeah, sure, that'll work. Um, would strongly prefer any hero to Lunara. Oh, my goodness. And, um, but yeah, so we're going to just kind of deal with it and go go with the flow, I suppose. You know, don't show. I don't, I have nothing, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. But, um, I, um... I'm sorry these episodes are coming up late. Obviously, I'm sick, and I've been sleeping in, and I have was, I was doing some uh, networking work earlier today with this uh, series. Actually, first off, let me double check my sure microphone is not going crazy pants right now. It is not. It's a little bit low, actually. There we go. And the I, I said people at the end of the last year that Final Boss TV would kind of slowly be evolving to include more things. And in a way, this hero series, the base adventure series, is... Um, not had a cough there I apologize this um this series is not like it's not replacing anything right it's just adding to the flavor of the YouTube channel to make actual YouTube only content it's just not a thing only on I don't like stream this and then put it online afterwards like it's not a highlight it's a I sit down, I'm going to record a Heroes League episode, I either get a guest on, which up to this point has been Tia, which, hold your horses on that one. If you've been following me on social media, I'm like, you know, why can't I just kind of evolve this in a way to make it a little bit more like, I have a good team comp, make this a little more like what I do on, we have no support. They have a support. I mean, a support maybe? Like, Lily? The new Malfurion's pretty strong. Medic for uh, Kerrigan. Let's see what he picked. They're gonna pick like Brightwing or something. Yeah, Malfurion will be fine. Um, so I was thinking like I should just like evolve this series a little bit, right? And have sort of maybe a guest or two every week or so often or so many episodes in a row. Like Tia right now, she's a friend of mine. So I'm like, Tia, let's record episodes of Harris League. <laughs> you know, and it's just been fun. We have a good back and forth. We're kind of silly. But what if I sort of mix that up a little bit and had some episodes that just had like a special guest on here or there that's just like in the community or another popular YouTuber or someone that's much more knowledgeable about the game than I am? I feel like I'm pretty knowledgeable, right? Like I am above average. I'm definitely, you know, my MMR is higher than my current rank in here as League of I checked, I'm sure, but um, I, I was sure. I, I am sure. I am sure that I am so much better than how I should be. And it was a really quick loading time. My goodness. Got some SSDs in this game. Good. Jaina is not riding a peasant pony. We're good to go. So, I have... But Kerrigan is. It's a black stallion. It kind of matches. Maybe it's not, you know, it's on purpose. But, um... So, in my travels on the internet to figure out what I should do with this series, I have poked some more friends of mine. And some that aren't my friends that I need to just, like, meet and greet in the first place. So, Tia will still be around here and there, of course. But I have also poked uh, my friend Artemis, who does stuff for Murloc Geniuses. I have also talked to Four Court Jester, who is a commentator for Heroes of the Storm. I will also be poking Gillyweed, as she does very similar and the same things, just different different capacities. And I will also be and have emailed uh, MF Pally Time, who is a proficient Heroes of the Storm YouTuber, and asking him if he wants to join in on the, um, the fun. There are also three top here, or four top. What is up with this four top nonsense? What is this four top nonsense? Wow, Jim is just tanking. Wow. The penetrating shot spam. I, there are four top. I don't understand. Like, they're not getting any extra experience points. This gym is so ham, though. He is so ham on a biscuit. So, what I say? Four Court Jester, Artemis, Gillyweed, Pally Time, 
And there could be some others that I have been suggested by Tia that I may give a uh, give a poke to in the future here. Um, what's happening here? That's a dead Kael'thas. That might be also be a dead Karazim. No. You can't fight me, Jim Rayner. I can't also catch up to him. He's he's gone. I do have another for another hunter killer. Is he still up here? He might be over here backing. He's probably gone by now. Yeah, he's gone. That was good juke. He immediately got in the brush and, and ran. He had to leave. Oh, he went back. He went all the way back around and went to base. Okay. I should have went to the left. So expect to see you know extra faces coming on the uh, on the, uh, the the base adventure series in the future here. Which is just for fun and, you know, giggles and to have a good time and to play the game and enjoy our time here on the, uh, on the Nexus, as it were. So that'd be kind of fun. If you have any suggestions for who you think, uh, I don't know who about or that I could poke. I mean, it's sort of the same thing I do on, on my actual show on Final Boss TV for World of Warcraft. Is bring on guests and talking about the game and have a good time, you know? So, I will be amalgamating that into my Heroes coverage for the... For a similar effect. Hey, what's in? A fun idea? Did we get the shrine? Oh, no one got the shrine yet. Okay. No one got the shrine. I could almost kill him. I am really far forward here, but I am safe, I feel. And yeah, that should be a dead... That's a dead Ketazine. Did we get that? Yeah, we got those. Okay, good. Good job, good job. I'm gonna go back and get full mana. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, that'll be fun to have on these episodes in the future. Uh, in doing so, though, at first, there may not be any special seminar, seminar, ceremony for these people coming on, these guests. But I do want to make uh, new art. I'll be talking to my artist that made my base adventure original art. And based on the... The uh, friend faces I get that want to join me for, you know, collaboratory base adventures. I will be uh, creating... He jumped forward? I will be creating... I think that was a misclick. I'm sorry, friend. I'll be creating or, or getting commissioned uh, new art. And the art for the thumbnails, the the, the numbers will go up the same. You know, base, you know, base adventure number 754. But the, um, the overall... Uh, art, the thumbnail, will be themed based on the guest that will be joining me for the uh, the episode. Which I think would be helpful for, you know, relaying who I'm playing with for the day, or for the episode. And for the day, I suppose. I put one up a, one up a day, Monday through Friday. And um, that'll be kind of fun. So, we'll see. It'll be depend on, like, who sticks, you know, who sticks together with me and who is around. As I'm not going to Make art for someone before they're, like, you know, cool to play multiple games in a row, you know. But it'll be fun to make, uh, make extra art that's thematically appropriate for the guests on the show. I'm gonna push this wave and then go down there. I'm doing, like, the, the super solo queue build here on Zagara. I'll be there, I'll be there. Cause I'll be there for you. And I'll be there for you too. I'll be there for. Sorry, I was trying to do the, the, is it the friends intro, and then I kind of messed it up. Oh, there's three here. It's gonna be kind of rough. Yeah, we there's four here actually. So don't blow up on me. Don't blow up next to me. We should get the bottom shrine. They'll get the middle one. That's not a not a big trade off. It's probably fine. Yeah, we got the bottom one. <clears throat> we'll cut off Jim here. No, where's he going? They're probably right there. Nope, they didn't get the, the mercs. Interesting. Well, we got another pick down there on Kael'thas. Hi, Jim. Oh, Jim's dead. Goodbye, Jim. Yeah, let's put some banelings. If they don't hit them, they'll hit the turrets. We got our... We got our mercs down here. That's awesome. Killing spree! Just attack whatever is closest. That's a dead Muradin. Maybe. Uh, probably not. Let's just blow this keep up. Put some damage on that keep. I couldn't follow you up. I'm so sorry, Diablo. I will incubate right here, kind of aggressively. I don't want that mana, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. 
That should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys stick around for those and are enjoying the show. Again, the Heroes League stuff isn't really watched by like a bajillion people. I don't think either, even many episodes even get close to a thousand views, but I have fun making them. That's, that's the goal, right? It's not having fun making them. And I enjoy making stuff for YouTube specifically. We did just breach, uh, breach, reach, break, all of those things. Uh, 30,000 YouTube subscribers, which is pretty awesome. Even though I've been on YouTube for like three years, this is bad. The gym is dead. That was a pretty good flank by um, my team, but also a pretty good flank by the Rexa. We'll take Devouring Maw, of course. Thought I misclicked on Nidus Network. I think Nidus Network on this map would be actually pretty good. With Broodlings later on, when you like push a tower really, really fast. That'd be kind of awesome. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry, Rexar. That was to block his path. So he couldn't run that way. Yeah. That wasn't a, a missed maw. That was a on purpose put it where he can't run through to get back to his uh, closer base. So, so you're not like, oh, babe, you're so bad with your devouring maw. I would have missed. But no. I'm going to go help. Oh, God. No. Got to kill these guys. I just saw the pumpkins at the bottom of my eye and I was like, wait a minute. Those aren't regular footmen and mages and archers. Those are pumpkin men. They're fighting over that objective in the middle here. I gotta push this wave a little bit. Put out some roaches and I'll head up to the team. Oh gosh, they're getting they're getting pummeled. Zag, what the fuck, man? What? <laughs> Dude. They had mercs down there! Oh come on. It's not only my fault. Yeah. Because I would have made the whole difference. I didn't have ult. They had mercs. Oh, he missed the stun. Oh, man, they're all down here. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, nice heal. Thank you. There's attack looks in the front line. Put some damage on Murd, and he can't heal at all. Attack Rexar. He's going to die. <laughs> Gotta take the small moves. People are way too fast to blame. I was playing some Cho'Gal with Fresh Kid yesterday. One of my mods, one of my subs, and... Um, we were playing Cho'Gall just fine. Spoiler alert, we won the game. It was a little rough early. Like, it was a rough, like, early game. But, man! We had just, like, two teammates that were just like, Oh my god! Shittiest Cho'Gall ever! WTF Cho'Gall! Objective up, pushing mercs! Blah, 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 blah. I was like, there's a lot more to... Oh. Oh my. Oh my. There's a lot more to... This game's objective, like course than always being at the shrine or always being at an objective, okay? A lot of players don't understand map pressure and lane movements and pushing different objectives while you can. And that's the problem. And we won the game. It was a Cho'Gall versus Cho'Gall match, actually. Um, we, uh, actually, it's funny that both Cho'Galls kind of spec super differently. I spec super tanky with Hammer of Twilight. But I, I picked, like, the Hammer of Twilight talent that makes your ranged attacks and have, like, a little slow. Which... Like, I don't want to be unstoppable. I don't need to be unstoppable on on um, Cho'Gall because uh, I'm already in the team fight as it is. So I took the range attack and the slow, which did so much work for us in later team fights. And like every time I was trying to help the team, this Sergeant Hammer was just talking smack over and over and over again. <clears throat> and it's just, it makes me so sad to think that People are just so rude to be rude for some reason. I don't understand exactly why people are just always buttholes. I guess not always buttholes, but people like to just be super awful to each other in competitive games like this. And it makes me really sad. And my whole team just died there apparently, even though I got a maw off of like on their best damage dealing source. Yeah, with our comp, Frostwing would be much better. Eh, I think, I still think that ult is still a better one, in my opinion. I don't think it doesn't matter. I mean, with the with the setup for it, it could be better, but... Let Janna play Jaina's game. She's not doing too bad. But I did get a great Devouring Maw on Kael'thas there, which is unfortunate that we still got Raffle Stomped. I'm getting picked on pretty heavily here. I'm going to save build because of Rexar. It's fair. I can't really hit Jim. I can hit, uh... Muradin, though. 
All right, we can push this, I think. We can push in, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, da, da, da. uh, help me. I'm dead. My first death. Oh my god, I'm not dead. I'm dead. He's gonna jump to me again. Yep. yep. <sighs> Close game, for whatever it is, for some reason. Even though I feel like I'm doing the most damage. Yep, I am. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I drink real quick while I'm dead. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I like I like Snowman. Frosty is so good for chasing, and it's also really good just sticking it on Murden's face, you so he can't he can't run around as often or as much, I suppose. Let's see here, what's next on the agenda? Get the boss fast. We could. Tunnels are opening, and the towers are upgrading. Do the towers actually like upgrade at all, like in their appearance? I don't think they look at anything in appearance. Boss fast. We try to burn this guy down. Let's try to put some creep on both sides in case they get flanked. Bailing burst him for that delicious, delicious bailing damage. And good dog. Good job on the boss. <laughs> Headless horseman. Giggle sticks. I'm gonna get some XP up here. I'm top experience as well. I mean, I guess it makes sense. All right. The conquest begins. All right, that's pushed. K K Kerrigan, why do you just like walk in and die? She's too early. Why are you pinging me? There are mercs to be handled, man. Come on, and there are XP to be gotten. Well, I gotta get a flank on this uh, Kalefoss here. He's dead when his shield wears off. Yeah, he's dead. Just to block them in. And he is dead as well. This Murden is just like wreaking havoc on the back line here. Uh, I guess set up again a little bit. Okay. Oh, I gotta get that one. I can't stop them. I can't stop them. It's 2v1, man. You died because you went in on like a 2v3 with one or whatever. Do you realize? It's a close game. We gotta take back our, our keep, though. Yes, I'm destroying this fort. I don't know why we're not grouping up and pushing forts faster. We have a better team fight comp. We've shown this multiple times. Because we are ahead by 10 kills. So, I don't know why our team doesn't, like, group more. Boom. Yeah, that's fair. Group more, push a fort, group, push a fort while they're taking that fort back. And just keep them running around the map. And just beat them in the XP game to level 20. That's what I would do on this map, but... But I'm not the one playing this map as a uh, as a shot caller. Oh, there's Kael'thas. Oh, I'm I'm probably dead. I'm gonna be stunned here, and I'm dead. Yep. Yep. I was only in range to drop the infested drop, but they were all right there. So, well, these mercs are gonna basically fizzle into each other because mercs versus mercs, and get the Rexar kill. All right, Rexar is dying a lot. This is sixth. They're coming in, man. They are coming in. Get the Kael'thas. Oh, protect Jaina. Good ults. Not bad. You gotta peel, you gotta peel back Kerrigan. Oh, she attacked when he had the stasis up. You gotta get in there. Like, not helping Kerrigan. What the heck? They just stood there and waited. And then went back in. I mean, Jaina has cooldowns and all, but... You gotta, you gotta get to, uh... Since they have a double DPS backline comp, Kerrigan can't just sit there. Kerrigan can't just sit. Thanks for leaving me. I mean, you stayed in, Kerrigan. You you definitely stayed in the, the, the nonsense. Oh, God. They're all here. They're all here. Yep. Spawn and die. Because the team didn't rotate back around right here for some reason. They're just, like, sitting at the fountain. I don't know what's going on now. I don't know why everyone is suddenly so afraid. We are ahead by 10 plus kills. <clears throat> you're just gonna, you're a... Yeah? Okay. We're taking a lot of damage on this, this 
hit. Oh, gosh. Oh! The pull almost pulled them into the turrets. That would have been funny. I don't know. Jim has gotten off so much damage the last, like, two team fights. You can't! Kerrigan, you aren't a tank. You need to stop suiciding. That's like her second or third time, just like jumping into the enemy team comp. She needs to wait and build up some shield and then go in. She can't just go in like that. If I don't go in, we got no kills. Um, girl, do you do you know who's doing hero damage? You just overtook me because you just jumped into the team in A lead for no reason. Most because we got from my combo, man. If, if you wait for Diablo, we will own them. I push that sound again right there, since they were pushing down here. Yeah, stop going 3p5. They get some pressure with uh, these mercs. Ah, shit. They're taking all of our merc camps, because we're not doing anything. Yep. They're down here. They have both Merc camps coming at this fort. I can stop these from getting there. But they're gonna poop on me. What is this Rex? Rex, what is, what? You just dodge all the damage. I don't know why you're not getting out of this. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. But they're taking our middle fort, so. <clears throat> We're gonna take um, extra damage, I think, actually. To push lanes. That I took that to push lanes. Oh, crap, there's still one freaking dude. Are are they gonna kill this? Oh. No, Jaina might die? No, I can probably kill this Muradin though. Diablo's just in doing whatever. Oh gosh, really? Where is the team? Look at the map. What the heck, dude? I'm a beast. Oh, I do. Sorry. <laughs> I suck, but the assassin that keeps jumping into the team comp is the one that's doing better than me. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Take the boss, take the boss. No one can really tank the boss. Okay, Kerrigan can sort of tank the boss. Man! So frustrating! Again, like I was talking about- Oh, I'm in the poopy and Rexar's here. Nice storm shield. Get on the pad. I'm just gonna kill Misha, I guess. Alright, it's doing good. I'm gonna soak this XP up here. Oom, delicious XP. We're still ahead, experience-wise. Yes, Fury of the Storm. Help me push those waves out. Yes. Yes. Let me, uh, do we have a fountain there? No, we don't. I have an incubation up, though. All right. 16 to 7. Now we push forts, because we have the advantage. Push forts. Stay together. Let me kill everyone, because that's what I do. I'll put both hunter killers on this to get it down faster. Yeah. Totally fine. Now rotate mid. Rotate mid. They're gonna kill that. We'll go kill mid. Rotate mid. And now kill this one. That's all you do to snowball this lead. Oh, they're gonna flank us instead of taking the keep back. Uh, ooh, that's good. This freaking Rexar, though. Jim is dead. Let me work on this Rexar down here. No, he's dead. He's gone, so. I can't run away from this stupid Muradin, though. I'm gonna run. I, I'm, I'm blocked. Great. <sighs> oh, the whole team killed everybody. That's fine. My Ma, I don't. I didn't watch the Ma, but Jaina, you can stay in. Two more auto attacks, girl. Or three. I guess three. You got it. Good job. No problem, no problem. Stressful game. Towers of Doom is kind of stressful because just like you're always fighting over objectives. But I mean, 
Yep, Kerrigan's AoE in the team for good damage. Siege damage is still not bad. Diablo actually has tons of hero damage. And he does have the AoE talents. AoE talents, yeah. He's a little not as tanky because he's going like super AoE build. Yeah. He's going the AoE build. Yeah, Fire Stomp, Return, Fire Devil, plus Battle Momentum for more Fire Stomps. Yeah, he's going the AoE build. I mean, maybe it works on this map, but he's like not anywhere near as tanking as he could be. A lot of HP he doesn't have from the uh, Black Soul Stone. So, he has the regeneration, that's all he has. I mean, he gets sort of tanky from Lord of Terror, because he can refresh and get some HP back. Oh, you cash it all six. And that's a good game. That's a good game. Boop. Biggity wham, super slam. So if you're watching this episode today, I will be live tonight on my live stream, the 21st of January. So Thursday, I'll be doing Mythic Hellfire Citadel with my guild, and Brutal on his Alliance Hunter will be joining me. So tune in for that. If you're watching this in the future, then you've missed the stream. I need you to tune into the live stream at twitch.tv slash finalbosstv. I'm live four to five nights a week. There's the hero damage, siege damage, XP contribution, not bad. Jada did well. Three deaths, super good. Talent tree here. Jada did go super, yeah. Ice block, northern exposures, totally fine. Bolt of the storm is good. And frost armor, man. And lingering chill. Went super defensive. I like it. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button. Helps me a great deal. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel right here and check out all of my Legion coverage, my kill videos, my gold challenge modes, my Heroes League stuff in the future with more guests. Four Core Jester, more Tia. Maybe some Artemis, and maybe some Gillyweed, and maybe some MF Pally time. Who knows? Thank y'all so much. I will see you all in the next adventure.